What's up everyone, Dr. D here. I'm late as usual, but I'm finally here to talk about that poll I made last week. The poll that I asked was on Twitter and the question was, is it cheating if you use two sides to play a song like this video right here? Some of you who are old like me, you might be getting flashbacks to playing GoldenEye 007, the multiplayer, you know, way back in the day. You know what I'm talking about. So as you can see in the video that I included, I'm playing the song Flow Expert. It's between 140 BPM and 280. I played my side using 4.5X so I could read the slow parts. And then I looked over at the other side on 2.25x so I can look at the fast parts. I did that to get the best of both worlds. All right, well, first things first, it's time to come clean because I've not really been truthful with the presentation that I've made. You'll notice when the song starts, you did not see the score preview and for the results screen, well, you didn't see the results screen and that's on purpose. All right, I'll show you now, see if you can catch it. Did you catch it? As you can see, when the song starts, you can see that my highest record is already an MFC. And to further cement it at the results screen, it does not say it's a new record. That's because I actually already MFC this song earlier and I was not using two players. Okay, so maybe I tricked you, maybe I didn't, who cares, what's the point? Well, that's why I'm making this video. I really wanted to get people's genuine reactions and opinions about this topic. I felt like having in your face video like this one would be a good starting off point. If it was just like someone passing their first song or something using this kind of method, I don't think it would have hit so hard. But if I was trying to pass off a new expert or challenge MFC using this method, I felt that it would be more engaging. There are other reasons too. Another minor reason is that uh, my capture card has kind of just been taking a shit recently. I'm not sure if you've seen some of my recent videos, live streams, MFCs, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, my, my capture card is just like breaking. So I kind of wanted to just redo the MFC just so I had a cleaner video. So that's one reason, but honestly, that's a really small reason. And before getting into my main reason, how about we go over that poll? Before getting to my main point, I thought it'd be good to go over the results. I'll be taking a look at the overall opinions on why it is cheating and why it isn't cheating. And then I'll share what I think. As for the results, I was actually a bit surprised. With nearly 300 votes, about 75% said that it is not cheating, while only 25% considered this method to be cheating. And yes, it was on purpose that I made it a yes or no question, and I specifically wanted to use the word cheating. I know that a lot of people feel that maybe it's not cheating, but it's kind of like cheap or cheesing or, you know, just like being a little dishonest, but I wanted a clear cut yes or no, is it cheating response. Okay, so let's start by going over the points that say it is cheating. The first point that I see mentioned a lot is that it is cheating because you're not playing the chart as it was intended. It was a common response and I get it. You're not playing what the step artist intended you to play. However, a lot of players were quick to point out that if you're gonna call that cheating, you might as well call using a turn mod cheating or even a speed mod cheating. After all, back in DDR Extreme, Bag was rated a 10, not because of the arrow density or like the amount of steps or the speed or, you know, all that stuff. It was rated a 10 because the BPM was 65. It seems clear whenever they're making the difficulty for the charts, they're assuming you're playing it on 1x, I guess, and without the bar. I don't know, that's actually a point of contention for a lot of people, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Somewhat related to that, I saw Aaron actually make a pretty interesting point. And I had this thought experiment. Imagine that a DDR actually did give rewards or a medal or some kind of lamp if you stealth cleared a song. If a player were to use the stealth clear, but use this method and look at the other side, I think we'd all agree that is pretty much cheating or at least dishonest. So I guess the question is, would you put that in the same category as screen peeking the other side to get the speed mod advantage as like getting a stealth clear? That's debatable. Another common point that I saw being pointed out was that because this could not be used in a tournament setting, that makes it cheating. Again, a lot of players were actually quick to point out that this totally could be used in a tournament. And in fact, some people think it's been used at the KAC stage a couple times. The first one was back at KAC the third, and this was in the semifinal round where Gaho picked 888 challenge and he used a high speed mod and his opponent used a slower speed mod 
and some players think that Gaho is looking over at the other side during the fast section at the end. It's not provable, but there's definitely some people who think that is what happened. And to be fair, nowadays a lot of players do actually try to memorize the ending of 888 Challenge so that they can use a faster speed mod. Whether he did or not, it's up for debate. The other instance, and I can't remember which KC off the top of my head, I think it was the ninth. Uh, you had Fifems, he picked Valkyrie Dimension Challenge, and a lot of players think that he used a uh, faster speed mod so that he could screen look over at the other side during the speed up. Again, no verifiable hard evidence, but a lot of players tend to think that it is actually happening at KAC tournaments. So take that for what it is. Regardless if you believe those two things actually happen or not, it does prove that it could technically happen in a tournament setting. It would depend on your opponent, the song, and what speed options they pick, but it's totally plausible to be implemented in a tournament setting. The last point I saw was probably the best point, and that is it is cheating because ultimately you're cheating yourself. In short, if you're trying to get better and you're using methods like this, the chances are you're kind of hurting yourself in the long run. You're missing out on some lessons and some growing you could be doing. And put it like this, if a player was able to match your score on a song and they did it without using this method and you had to use this method, I think by and large most people would agree that the player who does not need a crutch like that is probably a better player than you are. Okay, so now let's go to the points for the people who are saying it is not cheating. There were a lot of opinions here, but I think I can kind of just sum it all up into just two points. The first point is it's not cheating because basically anyone can do this. Anyone has access to this. There's nothing stopping you or another player from putting in two credits and being able to do this. So therefore, it's not cheating. Furthermore, you're not changing the timing windows of the song, you're not messing with the sync, and ultimately you are performing the actual actions throughout the entire song. No one's helping you, you are still performing it. The second point of why it's not cheating is the point that I actually really like, and it clears up a misconception, and that is it's not cheating because it's actually very risky and challenging to do this. Anyone who's tried this would know that doing this does not make it automatically easy mode. It actually takes a lot of real skill and practice to master this method. I only uploaded and showed you the one successful attempt I had to make my point. What you didn't see were the countless, and I mean countless, of fails of me trying to get the MFC by doing this strategy. The reason why it's so difficult is because of the lack of feedback. You see, when you're playing on your side, you're hitting the arrows, you're getting the instant flash, you're getting the feedback if you're on the marvelous timing or the perfect timing, and you have that visual cue. When you're doing this screen peeking method, you don't get that anymore. Every time you hit, you're seeing miss. You don't really know what's happening on your side. So you, there's like a lot of gymnastics going on in your brain trying to trick yourself to be able to actually perform like that. Additionally, looking over, like physically looking over to the other side is going to result in some kind of panic or it's just, it's not gonna be a smooth transition. So being able to do that on the fly is a lot more challenging than you might think if you've never tried it yourself. To be fair, my point right now is specifically talking about MAing or trying to get like an MFC. If you're trying to get an MFC or trying to MA the song, it's going to be really hard to stay in that window. But I will admit, if you're just trying to either pass or full combo or PFC a song, you'll probably have a lot easier time and this method could definitely be a lot more, I guess I would say, exploited for getting that. But for getting MFC specifically, it was unbelievably difficult. All right, so with all the results in and all the points and counterpoints, what was the point of all this and what is my stance? And I can sum it up with just four words. Over the period, beginner. A couple of years ago, I made it my goal to MFC the entire game on beginner. And actually, it was way more difficult than I thought it would ever be. And it pretty much all came down to if I was gonna be able to MFC over the period beginner or not. That nearly broke me. Because of the wild differences in BPM of that song, picking the right speed mod was pretty much impossible. I ultimately ended up MFCing it on 2x, but it doesn't matter because it didn't help me with the beginning. Unless you're an MA player like me, it's kind of hard to convey to you and explain how difficult and challenging the first steps are, and I mean the first 10 steps are, to Marvelous Full Combo. 
In short, it's an absolute shit show. The reason for my high play count on this song is literally just because of the first 10 steps. To give you a little bit of context, I probably had at best a 5 to 10% chance of actually MFCing the first 10 steps. It is that difficult. And on top of that, just because you get the first 10 steps, you're not done. No, you are absolutely not done yet because there's a stop and you got to count it out and then you got to transition into the next section. And okay, fine, you finally get that. Congratulations. You're still not fucking done because even if you took away those first 10 steps, even if you took away that first transition, it's still one of the hardest, if not the hardest motherfucking eight in the entire goddamn game. What made things extremely painful was I just couldn't get in the zone. I would spend 30 minutes straight even trying to get the first 10 steps. And by the time I finally had a run that got past it, guess what? I'm totally not in the mood or in the zone to get what's coming up next. And like I said, it's not exactly a walk in the park just because you cleared the first 10 steps. Most of you don't know my struggle with this song because I didn't really talk about it. I didn't post about it and I didn't stream it. I didn't stream because I wanted to really focus and try to nail it and I just I needed everything I possibly could. So that's why I didn't really hear much about it. All right, so now you know and now I want you to know that during that time the thought did cross my mind, what if I just paid for another credit and threw the other side on 8x so I can at least get past the opening a few higher percentage of the time. If I had done that, I would have been able to get those first 10 steps a lot more of the time and then actually be able to proceed throughout the song and have a way higher chance at MFCing the rest of it because I'd actually be practicing the rest of it and not just spending a half hour trying to get 10 fucking steps. But no, it didn't happen. So instead, over 800 goddamn plays later on using 175 or 2 or maybe 2.25x, I finally MFC'd it. I can promise you I would have MFC'd it a lot sooner if I just had the first 10 steps on lock. Fun fact, everything that I'm doing right now was actually planned to be done with over the period beginner when I MFC'd it. After I MFC'd it, I did want to make the same video that you saw for Flow. I wanted to re-MFC it using one side on 8x and then I play that one on 2x, but it ended up not happening. For one, I was just sick and tired of fucking playing that song. I just did not want to play it again after that. And two, uh, the timing really did not work out. At the time, it was on DDR820. And right after I MFC'd it, we like pretty much got A20 plus and it just released. So then like I had a lot of plays playing it on like A20 and that's where my MFC was, but A20 plus just came out. And if I, if I uploaded the video that I wanted, but it was using the A20 hardware and software and uh, just, it would have been really confusing. So I ended up just scrapping the whole thing. Okay, so that brings us to today and now. So what do I think and what am I gonna do going forward? To probably no one's surprise, I do not consider this cheating. And I wanna emphasize the word cheating. If you use this method, I would consider it much closer to the other example I gave earlier where you have two players, they can both get the same score on a song. One of them is doing it using this method. The other one is doing it quote unquote legit. In a situation like that, I think you'd have more respect for the person who can do it without it. But ultimately the score saves, it's still done. So I wouldn't say it's cheating, but I also wouldn't consider both players equally skilled if they are getting the same score by using these two different methods. Make sense? Similar to like if two people can PFC bag, but one person's doing it on 1x, they're both PFCing bag, but obviously one's a little bit more challenging. I needed to throw all this out here because I've been considering in recent months and years about also trying to MFC the game on basic. So it was such a challenge getting it on beginner because of OTP and a few other songs. And I just refuse to go through that again if I'm doing it on basic. That is, unless I'm allowed to use this kind of method to do it. Because I, I just will not play over the period again, especially on basic, because the beginning is even more of a nightmare. It's more than 10 steps. I will not do that again on just 2x or 2.25. I refuse to do that. 
The only way I would ever, ever try to MFC over the period basic is if I had the blessing of the majority of the community to actually use a method like this and try to MFC it. There are a couple other songs too that could benefit, like Valkyrie Dimension, Elemental Creation, even though I already got that, and a few others, but pretty much for over the period basic, if I want to try to MFC it, I need to use 8x on the other side, period. And yeah, now that the poll is done and I do see like 75% of people actually are okay, or at the very least don't consider this kind of method cheating, I might start making attempts like this going forward. However, currently, and this is my own personal opinion, I will not be using this to get new MFCs on Expert or Challenge. I kind of hold those MFCs in a higher regard, so I wouldn't want to use a method like this to get a new MFC on those difficulties, but I would be okay using it personally for basic or say difficult. Again, this is my personal thing. Everyone has a different line, I think. Some people will say it's all you can use it or all you can't, but again, this is gonna come up to personal preference. All right, so there you have it, a video talking about the poll, late as usual but I'm really glad I at least eventually got it out. And I just want to say thank you if you voted in the poll, if you shared your opinion, whether it was for it being cheating or not being cheating, I really value it, so thanks for sharing. And lastly, I hear you. I read all the comments and I heard a lot of people say that ultimately isn't this game just for fun? And to that, yes, this game is played for fun, obviously, I mean, duh. And if you're not having fun and you're playing this game, well, it might not be the right game for you. People have fun different ways. Personally, I have fun trying to beat my own records, try to get better, try to get more MFCs. That's the challenging aspect that I have. But if you're just rocking out, doing some freestyle or playing with your friends and just getting a good exercise in, enjoy it. These kind of conversations, you can completely ignore them. Forget about it. If you do like these kind of videos, I might make some more of them in the future. I might make a poll about a topic that some people have a debate about. And yeah, we'll just see how that goes. If there's something specific you want me to cover, let me know in the comments down below. And just remember, it's okay to have a difference of opinion. Just keep it civil, keep it friendly, and we can hash it out down there. All right, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. If you did like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button so I know you like it. If you want more content like this, let me know in the future what you'd like me to cover and that's going to do it keep playing and have fun thanks for watching and i'll see you next time peace hey guys thanks for watching this video be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you like what i do and want to be notified whenever i upload or go live subscribe and hit that bell icon if you really love me consider pledging on patreon to enjoy exclusive benefits Lastly, keep the DDR discussion going by joining my Discord community, linked below. Thanks again, and peace.